Right, this is the beginning of a swale that uh, we marked out a couple of days ago. This is really a, a short, a short little swale. And uh, you'll see it meandering all over what looks like it's going all over the place. But it's actually exactly on contour. Exactly on contour and it will catch a lot of the water that runs down uh, to the left hand side of the screen here on, as you're looking at it and that disappears off into the bush over there where the olive trees are it's going to catch a lot of this and it's going to start feeding into the ground here and it's going to give us a beautiful water plume so uh, we're going to see today how much we can carry on with this because this is now being dug by hand unfortunately we don't have machinery to do it so it's being dug with a pickaxe and a shovel and uh, and a lot of sweat so uh, we'll give you an update when this is done oh look the help has arrived <laughs> okay YouTube so we're busy marking out swales here this is being dug by hand and it's it's pretty hard work so I just wanted to to explain the the, the working parts of a swale you've got the the swale itself the hole and then the part that you see on the right hand side over there uh, the, the the wall that gets put on the on the downward side is called the berm and that becomes a filtering mechanism you never compact them so everything that comes out of the swale just goes on the downward side and uh, it's when if your swale should fill up if you're lucky enough that your swales fill up that uh, it can go through the berm and filter slowly into the landscape because you always want to soak water, slow it, sink it and spread it. So here we are um, busy. I just marked it out. You'll see the red spots over there everywhere that I marked out with a spray can. And it looks like it's meandering all over the place, but this is actually pretty much exactly level. This is on the contour and uh, it was quite a bit of work going here through all the bushes and finding out where this goes and having to mark it off and it goes up and we end up we're going to end it up over there so we need to mark this out at least now it's marked with paint but we're expecting a bit of rain tomorrow fortunately this is the wet season which is why everything is so beautiful and green around us but uh, we we can't leave it just with a paint here because the the rain will wash a lot of that away and then all this work has to be redone so we're going down here with a pickaxe and a shovel just to dig out a tiny little little ditch so we can see more or less as you can see over here to, to show us where the swell uh, is going to be when it's finally marked out or, or, or dug out completely okay so this is a couple of hours later and this is how far we've come now um, we've marked it out we've remove some of the rocks on the inside we put it on the on the downward side um, at least when we have tomorrow's rain it won't wash away the markings and we can carry on in the next couple of days with this adding to it every day and then of course you sometimes have the good fortune where you've got a friend of friends over there and one of them promised that he won't swear on the video so let's hope he keeps his promise <laughs> And, uh, but the swale is coming along beautifully. Um, just this, this tiny swale will keep quite a lot of water already in the ground here. So uh, this, is a, this is a good day's work. Brilliant, brilliant work. Thank you, gentlemen.